So today we're hiking Los Banos de Enezo Coyotl. I hope I pronounced that right. Hi, this is Jamix. You can call me Miggy, and I was in Los Banos de Nezual Coyotl. This was back in May when we went there. If you have already gone there, then you'd know to bring a lot of water, put on sunscreen, and wear closed shoes. Typical hiking stuff, but what's not typical is that we were hiking in a historically important place. Los Banos de Nezual Coyotl or the King's Bats was made by King Nezuhual Coyotl, the former ruler of Texcoco in the 15th century. In this place, visitors will find, obviously, a lot of bats, type of rituals and sacrifices, the king's residence, scale model of the bats and other pyramids, the irrigation system, and a beautiful garden. Now, unfortunately, when we went there, we were told that the beautiful flowers that surround the place were not in season yet, so we weren't able to see them at the time. So we had to settle for the rocks that greeted us when we arrived. At the beginning, it's what you can expect from a typical hike. A dirt road, a lot of greenery, and a great scenery. A scenery in which I think is ruined by mining operations. During our ascent, we came across a tunnel which we could use as a shortcut to go to the other side of the mountain. However, it rained a few days prior to our hike and the tunnel was flooded and slippery so we didn't attempt to go that route. After we continued on our original path, we finally arrived at the first ruins we encountered, which included a bat! <laughs> our guide at the time, Diego, tells us that the people at that time just goes to a bath, have a shower, and enjoy the view of Texcoco. But that is just one of the many bats here in Los Banos. The bats differ in size, shape, location, and access since there are people who are only allowed to use certain bats, such as the king himself having his private bath in his residence, which you'll see later. But what you can see now is a bath that is big enough to accommodate our group. We actually went in and took a picture while inside. From the surroundings of this particular bath, there used to be a statue, and this is from where the water would flow from the mountain into this bath. Alright, so we're nearing the top of Los Banos de Nezu. Nes. <laughs> Nes. <laughs> and from this, you can see a whole very good view of the city, except for that mining operation over there. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of destroys the view. But damn, this is lovely. In this area, according to our guide, there used to be a statue on this very site which was destroyed when Spain colonized Texcoco. As a Filipino, I find that story very familiar as Spanish colonizers also destroyed a lot of things when they colonized the Philippines. I call those colonizers mga po! So going back to the hike, we continue to climb up and away. After a grueling journey, spending a lot of energy and drinking a lot of water, I have finally managed to reach the top well, the top of this rock, which was on the summit anyway. <laughs> After, I think around a one, one and a half hour of hiking here, we finally are at the summit. As you can see, the view is great. You are very tired. And everything in the world just feels all right. Well, if you thought that that's the end of this hike, you're wrong because we're only halfway through. After reaching the summit, we had to walk through this steep road to go down to the other side of the mountain, where we were greeted by a ritual site. This was where the people of that time held ceremonies and made sacrifices. While the ceremonies were ongoing, the king would be at the top overlooking this whole area. Also, apparently this little cave over here is still being used today for rituals as you can see the ashes and some dried flowers. We were told that the modern rituals are done when the sun has already set. Again, this is what the whole area looks like. Then we continued going down where we met a group of cyclists. Apparently, Los Banos de Nesnohol Coyotel is a popular destination for cyclists. They would normally cycle through the dirt road that goes around Los Banos but some of them actually carried their bikes up and down the mountain. We've actually encountered some cyclists previously who were going down the mountain with their bikes on their back. <laughs> it's amazing. Also, in this area, we came across the throne room where King Nezahualcoyotl would usually stay. Opposite this is a large canal which transports water from the other mountain to this place which we have just explored. This canal actually serves two purposes. One is to bring water to the bath and the other one is to act as an irrigation system for the plants and flowers 
all around the vats. As I've mentioned before, these vats are surrounded by a lot of flowers, which were just not in season during our visit. But when they are in season, then you can see that the whole Los Banos will be covered in yellow flowers, which just shows how effective this canal and irrigation system can be. Also in the sign El Acueducto, you can find a poem that was written by King Nezahualcoyotl himself. Our Mexican companions told us that the king is expressing how his heart was very happy and how he wishes that the flowers around his face would not wither, which I find very, very romantic. My shoes, stay with me. <laughs> stay with me, my shoes. Don't leave me. <laughs> 12 seconds later. This is me again, bringing you unfortunate, unfortunate news from this hike. My shoes. It gave up. <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be great. <laughs> so after my shoes gave up, at the end of the canal, we arrive at Puente A with another poem by the king. In this place, water from the mountain goes down here towards the canal then goes all around the bats. Upon hiking further, we reach the king's residence. Or at least where the king would take a bath himself. So apparently this is the king's bath. Maybe bedroom, uh, living room, something like that. But then you can just imagine that back in the day, the king would take a bath here and with the water go straight down to the canal over there. Looks like everyone's just washing. Looks like everyone's just bathing in their king's bath water. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, if you can see that thing over there that looks like a pole, it's actually a tree. And apparently, some years ago, that tree was struck by a lightning. This is what remains of it. So at this point of the hike, the sun was right above our heads and we were already getting tired. But we were nearing the end of our journey and my phone's battery. Wait, what? Wait a minute. So at this point, I was only able to get to take the occasional B-roll just to give you guys an idea of what we have explored. <laughs> In the second mountain, we came across this very cool scale model of the pyramids and the bat that King Nesuhualcoyotl built. These rocks here were made by the architects and engineers of that time, while the roof of this place was made by modern people to prevent further degradation of the elements. This scale model is also a reason, stated by our guide, why modern people think that there are still pyramids that have yet to be discovered in modern times. Now, how do we know that a rock is a pyramid? Simple, if you look closely at this rock, excuse the vandalism, this etching as pointed out by our guide represents the steps of the pyramid and you can find similar etchings on other stones. Now for this place, Los Banos de Nezahualcoyotl, it is this stone over here where, along with the steps, there are craters which represent the bats, and also canals where the water would flow from the top and go around the mountain. I find the scale models really interesting. Normally, people go to the sides like this and think that these structures were built by slaves, and that's what I thought too. But when I asked, our guide told me that professionals were employed to build this place. It's amazing to think that actual professionals were involved in the planning and the building of these structures, which is most likely the reason why these structures are still standing today. And this makes me think about the work of the professionals that we have now. Will our modern houses, buildings, facilities still be standing after hundreds or even thousands of years? I don't know only time will tell. And I guess this would be the right time to go back and finish our hike. So, after going to the scale model, we went to an open area where a wooden structure was erected near a lone tree. It says there's no food. Usually, people who hike put the food over here for others. So yeah, I guess we're gonna take a break with this lonely tree that apparently the reason why this tree is lonely is because there was a landslide here and that's, that's the only survivor and also there was a huge fire all around here and again that tree is a survivor so if you accompany this tree you will be awarded with an amazing view the whole Los Banos de Nezahualcoyotl and the surrounding area this has been a very rewarding and insightful hike 
And to end this vlog, we said goodbye to the lonely tree and went back the way we came. Thank you for watching.